All right, this is something that I wanted to do just, you know, to basically 100% this game. I streamed it a while ago, but I never quite finished it. But the last uh, thing I'm, well, things I'm going to be doing, they'll be all, uh, what's it called, on video instead of a stream. Because it's it's not a lot that I still need to do. Well, we're going to load up our extremely overleveled uh, character here. We're still at the... The wings rest. But I do remember off stream. Uh, I picked up. Uh, it, actually, it's an item, isn't it? Materials. Where is it? Uh... No, where is it? Yeah, fractured life, fractured death, and. A broken sword. I believe this is the item I talked about, I think, briefly. Because I looked up how to do some of the ending stuff. Uh, at the end there. Then this item only shows up if you go to a specific spot in the last area on a full moon. So, let's talk. You know, I never heard anyone actually say forsooth. forsooth? Could you say for me? Sure. Yeah, I don't know what I expect. I'll try some alchemy. Yeah. So, we are gonna combine the fractured death, a pale translucent gemstone, a dense vapor is caught inside, said to be the first water. Fractured life, a dense vapor is said to be the first water as well. Oops. There we go. I don't know why I wasn't clicking the other thing. There we go. We have the Limbo created. We have finished all the recipes. So, the Limbo. Uh, it's alphabetical, so we gotta scroll up a bit. A result of perfected alchemical process. A blade held delicately in the twilight of light and dark. Prevents curse and blindness from ailing the user. And does both light and dark damage. So let's check this out. Uh, it, I can't remember my controls. Okay, so that switch is just my thing. Uh... Alright, hold on. I need to look at the manual. I haven't played this game in forever. It's funny that it's an in-game manual. Switch weapons is Q. Okay. So this is the Limbo. Actually, relative, pretty similar to the Lucid Blade. And why do we need the Limbo? Well, uh, hopefully I can remember how to even get there. But we need to warp to... No, not the arena. Uh... Fit the Mire? No, I need the... Tomb, yes. So now with the Limbo in hand... We need to slay death. So hopefully this won't take me too long. I just vaguely remember the way. I'm gonna go into the spooky zone. Hello, horsey. Okay, yeah, I'm trying not to use too much magic now. But I have to find the door. Oh, that's, that's, that's a stairwell. Not what I want to, not where I want to go. Hello. But yeah, this game is is cool, atmospheric, kind of spooky when you first play it. Obviously, I'm extremely powerful now, so it doesn't really scare be scare is scary anymore. But you know, ow, man, did I go in a circle? Not quite. 
Also, the the music, the soundtrack's pretty great, and you know, it can get you really tense sometimes, especially in this area when it was really dark. Okay, we're nearby. I, that's not the one I just passed. Is not the one. Uh, there's a different one. It's this one. Uh, the mausoleum. Yes, I need to go in here. I needed to use a dark spell. Question mark, I think. No, we don't need a blood spell. We need a dark spell. Or was it a light spell? Can't quite remember. Lightning? No, not that. Yeah, light. Okay. Let's switch back to Slime Orb. I remember Slime Orb. But the reason I used this is because it's actually pretty good. Whoa. It's actually getting super dark. Uh, well, uh, summon uh, light. No, not light reveal. Tornado, wind dash. Ghost light. So we're gonna use the limbo. We have to literally wait for death to show up and slay it. We're just gonna walk around. Hello, Skilly. Seem very powerful in terms of just raw damage. But it's still pretty cool. Come on. Well, I might need to just cut out until death shows up because I can't quite remember how long it is before death shows up. So, give me a bit. Alright, so death has finally showed up. Uh, granted, it won't be much of a fight. I just have to wait for him to literally come in front of me because uh, it's, this weapon should one-shot it. So I'm gonna go into this open area over here. And just kinda wait for him. You have to keep uh, looking around though, because he can walk through walls, or rather float through walls. There he is. Meet your doom. Death has been slain. We have acquired the death scythe. We'll go back to the Lucid Blade. However, uh, I am going to start using the the Scythe. I need to use it if I am right. But now that I have slain death, uh, I believe something changes in the game. We need to get ourselves out of here. There's like no music. And it got uh, dark in this area again for some reason. Oh, 
well, let's use the crystal and get out of here. Um, if I remember right from what I read up, uh, we need to actually use the Death Scythe to um, le uh, level it up. We need to level it up, basically. And also, all the NPCs leave. That's another thing. So, unfortunately, uh, we can't talk to anybody. Uh, for some reason, the music also changes here. We get a, a very somber music with it. Actually, I need to read the description. I didn't even read it. But let me break these boxes. Back when life was first expelled, a farmer, their flock heavy held. Legend in life they did weep so. Death became the end we know. No matter, strive, or fear, or rage, it seeks out and unlocks life's cage. While we hate to hear it, so that has us love the life we know. 327 attack. Seems a little overpowered. Uh, the reason we needed this uh, to get the weapon, I believe. Uh, where am I? I believe now. Oops. I just wanted to look and not actually equip them. We have 30 strange coins. Which we need to trigger one of the endings, uh, as well as uh, getting to a spot where I can get the last spell I need to get another ending, potentially. But uh, I will be cutting to that, so give me a moment. Alright, and we finally managed to max out the meter just before I level up the scythe. Uh, we do have this. I took everyone to hide for a while. I have this uneasy feeling overwhelming me. Something just feels horrible. We'll come back after things feel right again. Be careful, okay? So Demi is like, something. something's happening. Let's uh, do this. Death has been crafted. So we lose the scythe. We get an achievement for it. And hopefully once uh, we warp back in here. Everyone's back, hopefully. Yay! You're gonna now acknowledge that you left me? What's up? Nice to drop by. Nope. They're just back out of nowhere. Anyways. With the whole uh, thing done, though. I will meet you guys back at... It was... The Labyrinth of Ash. So I'll see you guys there. Okay. So now that we're here at the Labyrinth of Ash... Uh, I just need to remember how to get to the one spot, the Abdul's Passage. Uh, so we just need to find those. Oh boy, mimics. Doesn't really matter at this point. Hello. Ah, here we go. I remember this part. So we wanted to go this way, I believe. Sleep. That's 
Not a fake wall. I still haven't found the other... Um, there's supposed to be a chest with the last spell I'm missing. Which is the... Uh, it's a teleport. I can't quite remember the name of it. Basically, it's like the uh, crystal shard, but infinite use. Let's see, maybe here? Yep, yep, there it is. Spirit Warp. So in order to get the last achievement that I'm missing, besides the ending ones, uh, Spirit Warp. Gotta equip it. There we go. Obtained every spell. So now we can do both endings, now that I have the... And kill them with my special power. Yeah. Cloth bandage. Oh, hello. the door over here then. tokens of spy must be held by the traveler so now we have our 30 coins and these are the hints slay a giant of magic just me an animal into a mass of humanoids use poison to give separate wills to the brains so we should be able to just open this door Achieved the Gates of Tartarus ending by getting the 30 strange coins by killing Jotun, killing death, and doing a blood spell on the shell in the One Temple. such a trip. of life and joy, but slowly you realize you cannot move, you cannot do anything other than observe, and along with you came a plague, an unnatural, unnatural demon relishing in its newfound territory, house and delight, you've doomed an entire new world to terror and cruelty. Then we just have to live with it, 
all because I won an achievement. Anyways, time to do another ending, because that's what we do. <laughs> the other ending is actually relatively easy to do now. Uh, where am I? Uh, did it save my... Okay, I do have Spirit Warp, so let's actually use it. Um... Real quick. Since this is the last thing I'm gonna do for this game, I gotta say goodbye to my friends, because they're cool. Goodbye, Demi. Nice playing the loot. Uh, I forget your name. Cheryl. See you, Cheryl. Cheryl. Maybe one day I'll come back to this game. It's our boy, Clive. Stay fleshy, I will. And last but not least, Etna. I'll see you later, guys. It was a joy playing this game. I got some jump scares, I got some fun moments, and some cool moments. And the music is all enjoyable. But with that, it's time to go to the last section, to the Forlorn Arena. Now that we have all the spells in the game, all I gotta do now is literally just do the normal ending, but now that I have all the spells, it'll give me a different ending. I pressed the wrong button because I forgot I changed, didn't change my spells, so give me a second here to go back. I wanted to use Spirit Warp at least once because I, for, I never found it and because I didn't look carefully enough. Anyways. Uh, we're going to use Quick Stride. Yeah, boy! Alright. Now we can run fast. Anyways. Let's end this game once and for all. Hey, buddy. Die. But yeah, right over here is where I found the broken uh, sword or whatever, if it was on full moon. Guess for reference. Chamber of Fate. It was kind of cool that there was an actual boss fight for this. I didn't expect that on this game. Well, it was a second boss. Uh, there was a boss fight for this one, but this one was pretty cool. Pretty cinematic. Anyways. We are done. As I mentioned before, this is a bit of an extra bonus video that I didn't really plan out. I, I, I did mention that I was going to show it off. But since it's so little. Cradle of the Sleeper. It's so little to show that I decided, well, not a stream. Let's just re make a video for it. Uh, I'll release it at some point. A little too late though, but you know. I need a break from the game. I, I streamed it for a while. Hello. You have once again woken the dreamer. But something else should happen this time. Hello. Whoa. Oh, it's with the wasp. Okay. I expect this. I 
Can't believe I actually recovered that one. Man, this is gonna take a while. So I guess I'm gonna need to feel my mana bar, it looks like. Also, my hands should look different. They actually are armored. Maybe. I'm not sure, actually. Can I lose this, though? rhythm to this but man it's actually filling out very slowly and you know oops I missed one It's actually really cool though. I like this song. I have no idea what's happening or what they're saying, but it sounds really cool. So I notice that when I swing my sword, some hands come out of me as well. are coming out of him. Ow. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think I'm gonna win this, boys. Okay, the song must have reset, or that was is a mega hard section. I am healing though. I seem to be in a similar state to that one boss fight where I technically can't die, but I'm not gonna try to uh, try not to risk it. You know, try to actually do it. Got it. It's almost there. These are a lot slower. That actually kind of messed with me. Kinda reminds me of near Gestalt kind of thing going on. 
Especially the song. Did I do it? I think I did. The fish is dead. Or the being. I am somewhere. Where am I? Ending E. I have become the dreamer. Me. And I think that's it. From what I remember reading, uh, there's just nothing here. It's just a desolate land where you can just walk around. And eventually, I think there's like an enemies type. But you cannot leave. You're just stuck here until you reset the game. But let me walk around here for a second. But yeah, to get this ending, you just need to have all the spells on you and do the normal ending. Uh, I have no idea if you can do the normal ending if you manage to get all the spells before you beat the game once. My guess is... Yes, but I have no idea. And yeah, it's just emptiness. Like, I'm assuming it just goes on forever. There's supposed to be like an enemy type here, but nothing yet. So this is just the instrumental version of what I was playing, I think, during that rhythm game thing. And I'm back with my normal hand. Is that something? Hello? Imperfect me! Oh no. I'm not capable of being a real dreamer, guys. Anyways. With that, we're gonna call it a video. I guess I can technically call this a guide, but not really since I'm... I'll probably slap on at the very beginning, like a little title card, like saying how to even do these endings. But besides that, it's mostly actually just me doing the endings and calling this game done. Enjoyable game. Obviously, not not super hard. It's a kind of vibe game, you know. Just, you know, running around, slashing dudes, finding stuff. But as I mentioned before, that, that rhythm section and the bosses were pretty fun. Although, I would say the bo the first boss I fought, the vampire guy, was kind of meh. But I liked the final boss. It was kind of neat. Alright. With that, I am going to call it a video. So, I hope you enjoyed this series, even though this video is way late compared to where I actually streamed the game way back when. But, I hope you enjoyed it uh, regardless, and that you enjoy whatever comes next on my channel. That being said, I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a nice comment, leave a mean, mean comment. It's up to you, all up to you, and I appreciate it all. Bye.